Hi, welcome to All About Mechanical Engineering. For today's video, the topic of discussion is Basics of Projection of Planes. This is the second video on the same topic, that is, it's part 2. As discussed in our previous video, based on the positioning of the plane, different cases which are possible. Case 1, surface of plane is parallel to one reference plane and perpendicular to another. Single stage solution. This has been covered in previous video and the link is provided in the description. Case 2, surface of plane is inclined to one reference plane and perpendicular to another. Two stage solution. This is the topic of discussion for today's video. Case 3, surface of plane is inclined to one reference plane and reference that is side, edge or diagonal etc is inclined to another reference plane. It consists of three stages in the solution. Now case 2. It has two subcases, surface of plane inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP or surface of plane inclined to VP and perpendicular to HP. Now let us look the procedure for case 2. It is valid for both subcases that is A and B. Step number 1. Neglect the given surface angle so that surface of the plane becomes parallel to one of the reference planes. Second step. Find out in which view you obtain the true shape now and draw that view as your first view of the solution. Step number 3. Now proceed to the opposite view. That means if you have drawn top view as your first step, now draw front view as your second step of the solution and vice versa. Step 4. Now draw the same view again adjacent to the step second with considering the angle. Step number 5. Lastly, draw the opposite view. Now, let us take an example for better understanding. A rectangle plane CDEF, CDEF, this is given to us. CD equals to 70 mm and D equals to 35. So this is 70 and this is 35. Has its surface inclined to HP at 40 degrees. So this surface is inclined here, theta, which is 40 degree, which will be seen in front view here. CF is 30 mm above HP and perpendicular to VP. So this is CF, this is perpendicular to VP and it is 30 mm above. Also, the corner C is 20 mm in front of VP. So this is the corner C and it is 20 mm in front of VP. We have to draw the projection of the plane. Now, as you can see in this three dimensional representation of the question, due to the inclination of the plane, we don't know the length of this top view. Because of this inclination, it will be less than 70 and how much reduced it will be, we don't know. So, you cannot draw directly any of these two views because the basics is you have to draw that view first where you get the true shape. So, this is a reduced shape. Now, let us look what to be done. Following the procedure, step number one says neglect the given angle. So, this is theta. If I neglect this theta, this plane C, D, E, F becomes like this, parallel to HP. And using this, we can draw this as our true shape, whose length is already mentioned in the question. This is 70 and this is 35. So this is our first view of the solution. This is our second step. Draw that view first in which you obtain the true shape. Step number 3 says draw the opposite view now. So opposite will be this front view. Step number 4 says draw the same view again but adjacent to it and considering the angle. So this is front view again considering theta equals to 40 degrees. Step number 5 says now lastly draw the opposite view. So you have to draw this reduced shape top view. Let us draw the actual solution now in 2D. This was a representation. 
this is our first step xy line taking a projector distance in front is given as 20 mm locating C taking length equals to 70 mm breadth given as 35 then completing the rectangle naming it after naming it taking the front view distance that is CF is 30 mm above so this is 30 mm and completing the front view naming the corresponding points C dash F dash on this line D dash E dash on this line next step will be locating C dash F dash again on the same projector and redrawing front view at given angle that is theta that is 40 degree for this question naming D dash E dash taking projectors down and from the top view we obtain four intersection points this is first intersection point that is C dash from this line and C from this you get here as C1 similarly D1 E1 and F1 now simply join these in the sequence you will get the reduced shape now here some of you might have a question that the names corresponding names of front view and top view are not matching as in this case C dash C here it's C dash and C1 not C there is no problem with the solution the only thing is this is two stages and the exam questions or the actual question of projection of plane consists of three stages there in the third stage the names will be matching here we have to understand we change the names when there is a change in dimension I have kept the same names in this front view and this front view as well because this is just a redraw of this as the length is not changing we don't change the name but here the rectangle the dimensions of this rectangle are not same as of this that's why the names cannot be same you have to change hope you have understood this hope you have enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe it like and share my videos with your friends thanks for watching it